Jack. Morning. Hiya. How did it go last night? As well as can be expected, with half the bridegroom's missing. Sorry about that. It's OK. How are you now? Yeah, I'm good. Everything's good. Where's Bob? Oh, I decided to go home early. Left me holding the baby. Eh? Still with us, are you? I've left my mobile phone at the hotel. We'll have to go back and get it. What's with the wee? Oh, please, Terry. Because I'm a fortune. It'll go crazy. OK. Uh, sorry, mate. Back to where we came from. How was last night? Did you enjoy the strippers? Uh, words, Terry. A stag do without any naked ladies? What is the world coming to? Uh, shocking. You just can't have too many naked ladies. In fact, if you ever feel the urge to undress to music, then I'm right behind you. <laughs> In his dreams. Have you seen Donna? Yeah, she's with Marlon. They still haven't solved the marquee problem. Where is he? He's still not turned up. Not Bob him. Just lost my appetite. You are going nowhere, Sonny. I want answers, and I want them now. I'm going to go and fetch Donna. This Bob! Oh, Donna, Bob's furnished his phones off. Josh was the last person to see him, but he won't say anything. Where's Bob? You're scaring the poor lad. We just talked. What about? Him being my dad. Family stuff. Family? But you haven't seen him for years. Oh, give the lad a break, eh? Look, Bob's supposed to be thinking about the future, not wallowing in the past. He just said he didn't want to keep on making the same mistakes. What mistakes? I don't know. Well, he's saying I'm a mistake. No, he wouldn't have been talking about you. What else did you talk about? Nothing. He just collected his money and left. What money? He won 5,000 on the tables. How much? Oh, well, you forgot to mention that, didn't you? Well, I'm, look, don't upset yourself, eh? Oh, great. My fiancé wins 5,000 pounds, then vanishes into thin air, saying he doesn't want to make any more mistakes. I've got a right to be upset. It wouldn't desert you. It's happened before. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't care. This wedding has been nothing but trouble from the word go. I'm not going to marry that man if he walks through that door stark naked with a rose between his buttocks. I never want to see him again! Val knows where he is. Val? Yeah, she tagged along with us last night. Didn't Bob and her have a bit of a thing going? <sighs> that was ages ago. Oh, no. Oh. Last night, she was all over him. There was a bit of mild flirtation, that's all. There was nothing mild. He gave her 50 quid and told her to come buy some new pants. 50 quid? New pants? Uh, what happened to her old ones? What if these went off together? Oh, no, we're sorry this morning, didn't we? Mm. Should I tell Viv? <sighs> she don't need any more grief. No, neither do we. <laughs> How is she? Uh, it's best just to let us stew. Where's Marlon? Oh, he's trying to find somewhere for the reception. I'll get back to the hotel, see if they've heard from Bob. Thanks. Uh, well, the rest of you can leave now. I'll see you tomorrow. If there is a tomorrow. Turn up. He has to. You've got to come too, Carly. He's your dad. Never mind what Mum says. Do that guilt trip thing of yours and she'll soon cave in. Great. See you tomorrow. So what's she like then, your sister? Oh, you found him? No, I found his luggage. No, he left the hotel without checking out. How would he do that? He tried the local hospital. You don't think he'd had an accident, do you? Well, you hear about it. People disappearing, never to hear from him again. I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, yeah? And what happens when he don't? Well, the wedding will still go ahead. Neither you or Donna have taken flight, have you? Never say never. <laughs> yeah, that'd be too good to be true, wouldn't it? Haven't you ever got anything nice to say? What is nice about having him as a brother-in-law? Hey, 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 can we just stop this? Nobody's jilted anybody. Hey, where's my pint? 